When an event promises that you'll get wet, you'll get muddy, and you'll have fun, how could you possibly say no? Well, more than 250 slop enthusiasts sure couldn't. That's why they're here getting down and dirty for the Pella Mud Fest Challenge. It started uh, three years ago, obviously. It is the fourth time we've run it here, and uh, the Rotary Club of Font Hill has, uh, has coordinated it with the generous support of uh, Bissell's Hideaway. Uh, it's our major fundraiser for our club. Proceeds this year are going again to a, a great local cause, Wellspring Niagara, and also End Polio Now, uh, the global fight to eradicate polio in the world. What are some of the highlights on the course, some of the different obstacles you can tell us about? We've got a mud hole in the back that is fit for man nor beast, actually. Uh, it would be a great place to put a water buffalo or a hippo, I'm sure. It's, uh, but it's, it's, uh, it's that. And then we have a, f a wall over here on the left. Uh, with the uh, Pelham Fire Department on, on site to help people get up and over. Uh, we've got a fantastic rope ape crawl over here so people can up they go and have a grand old time. Now who's behind actually constructing and building the course? Bissells did some of the, uh, the uh, construction and they assisted us with placing and then uh, the Rotary Club uh, uh, members put things together as best as we can. Ladies, how's the course treating you so far? Good. A little bit cold, but it's pretty good. Ridiculous. <laughs> Do you have a strategy going into this of, of how you're going to make it through? Hers is avoid the obstacles. <laughs> I must say, you don't, you don't really look muddy enough. Uh, we've done a few. We've skipped a few. <laughs> and what made you get involved in the, in the Mud Fest Challenge? My mom was diagnosed with lymphoma. And she started chemo this week, so this was our thing to kind of support her. Ladies, congratulations, you just made it through the mud belly crawl. How does it feel? Pretty good. <laughs> Very exciting. Feels fantastic, so soothing on the skin, and yeah. <laughs> well, man, at least you look like you've been in a mud fest all morning. How did it smell in there? Awful. <laughs> Very bad. All depending on what place you were at at that point. So. <laughs> So guys, what was the last obstacle you just went through? Oh, we went through those tunnels right there, muddy, in the swamp, mud up to our knees. A little claustrophobic, but that's okay. I might we got through it. On a rodent. Yeah. <laughs> and how did that compare to what you've already been through today? Oh, well, we've been through lots. We've been down a slip and slide, up big walls and monkey bars and uh, lots of fun things. Yeah, yeah. How's the mud out there today? It's, it's up to your ankles, yeah. We got soakers all the way through. No worries. Very slippery, very slippery, yeah. Lots of fun. Amanda and Holly, how has the mud fest been for you so far? Lots of fun. Yeah. <laughs> really muddy. It's been good. <laughs> Have you done it before? No, no, it was first time. What made you want to do it this year? Just something new to try. Yeah. yeah. I've always wanted to do one, so. What's been your favorite part of the course so far? The one we just did with the tire in the swamp, and then you crawl back through the tire. Now looking at this repelling obstacle, how's that making you feel? I don't like height. <laughs> and can you tell us what brings Wellspring Niagara out to the Pella Mud Fest this year? This event, part of the proceeds is supporting Wellspring Niagara and of course the good work that the Rotary does with the end of fight polio. Um, so we're excited about it. This has uh, now been a couple of years at Wellspring. They've been supporting Wellspring. And we've got a team today uh, of a big group from Wellspring participating. Um, and the proceeds are benefiting the capital campaign of Wellspring Niagara. Any words of encouragement that you would offer to anyone who maybe hasn't participated before but might do so in the future? Sure. Don't be intimidated. It's a fun event. It supports great causes. Get a team together. And quite honestly, most of our teams are, are women who've come together from their gyms and their, their girlfriends have come together. They add some real spark and life and, uh, to the event. Um, they got the great t-shirts and the funny costumes sometimes. It's really, they add a, they add a, uh, add a real great element to, our, to it. But. More than 250 participants showed up to give it their all at the annual Pelham Mud Fest here at Bissell's Hideaway, lending their support and clean clothes to help raise funds for Wellspring Niagara and End Polio Now. Reporting in Pelham for The Source, I'm Katie Puddlejumper-Jones.